Hi everyone, I am Shohan Garg and welcome back to the lecture series for Java. So in today's lecture, we are going to see how to make a bubble sort program in Java. So in previous video, we have discussed the theory and how the bubble sort actually works. So here, this is our array of five elements that is 14, 28, 34, minus 5 and 23. And now uh, we are going to use for loops to read through whole the array and compare the adjacent elements. All right. So that we can swap the elements if the adjacent element is greater than the previous element. And we are going to define a swap function to swap the elements. All right. So now, first of all, we are going to define a for loop that is for int and this is for the end element. Okay. That is if you remember in the previous video, we need the ending element and the starting element. And then we are going to compare the starting, uh, the ith element with i plus one th element. All right. So this we are going to initialize as add dot length minus one. All right, because there is starts from zero. So uh, that's why we have initialized as the last element of the array. Okay. Then end should be greater than zero. Okay. And uh, the ending element uh, needs to be decremented. That is the end uh, value here. This thing needs to be decremented that it will go from four to three to two and so on. All right. So now here we are going to define another for loop that is for in let's say i is equal to zero. This is for the first element. I is less than the ending element, of course. And we are going to increment i. So I is going uh, as from 0, 1, 2 and the end is going from uh, minus 4, uh, sorry, 4 to 3 to 2 and on. Okay. So now here we are going to check for a condition that is if ith element of array is greater than the i plus 1th element. All right. So if this condition is true, then we need to swap the elements. All right. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Swap the elements. And now we are going to define this swap function. All right. So yeah, so let me just define the swap function and it will be okay. Yeah. After main, we are going to define the swap function that is public static void swap okay and now it is going to uh, take an array as an integer that is int array and then it is going to take the argument that is the integer uh, for the ith element and for the i plus 1th element all right so uh, basically we are going to pass the value for this array and the ith element and the i plus 1th element so here I am going to use int p and int q. Okay. So these are the arguments which we are going to pass. So now, first of all, it is going to check if p is equal to q. That is if both the elements are same, then we do not need to pass anything. We will just return. Else if uh, they are not same, then what we are going to do is we are going to swap the values. All right. So we will declare a temporary variable that is in temp and we are going to store the value of array in that the ith element of the array, uh, I mean the pth element of the array and here the pth element of the array will be assigned to the qth element of the array. Okay. That is the i plus one th element and then the qth element of the array will be assigned to uh, the temporary variable. So that's how swapping is done. Even if you uh, want to swap two numbers using a third variable, you do it this way. So now in this swap function, we are going to pass the arguments that is first of all the array and then the element i and then i plus one th element. All right. So these are the value of p and q. So now uh, what we need is we need to print this uh, sorted array. So for that, we are going to use another for loop 
and we are going to print for int i is equal to 0 to i should be less than i dot length and i plus plus all right so now we are going to use a print length statement system dot out dot print okay and here we are going to print the array and the ith element all right so it is a for loop so it is going to run till the length of the array and uh, this is it for the program for bubble sort so what we did we declared a for loop for uh, to see the element for the end of the list of the array then we uh, use another for loop from the starting and then we uh, swap the integers by comparing the ith element to i plus 1th element all right and for swapping we use these conditions that is we stored the value in a temporary variable and then we swapped the two values so let us run the program and see uh, the output first of all let me save it yeah now let us run the program so the program is running and we can see we are getting uh, the elements in the sorted order that is minus 5 14 13 23 uh, minus 5 14 23 28 and 34 so these are our elements in sorted order all right so this is how bubble sort work also uh, remember remember that uh, it has a time complexity of o n square all right that is quadratic complexity so it is not uh, a very good sorting method but it is for the basics after that we are going to look at some different uh, important sorting methods as well so this is all for this video see you guys in the next video